Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome to Field of Fork, I'm Abby J, and today I'm so excited to have my friend Susie Neal from Unicoi Preserves here on the show. Welcome to the show. Abby, thanks so much for having me. Glad well, to be here. Yeah, and so it's Valentine's, and we want to talk all about Valentine's, but before we do that, I want you to tell the audience a little bit about you, your, your husband, Clark, uh, you are the dynamic duo. That's right. And so uh, tell them about Unicoi Preserves and give them some information on, on how this business got started. Thank you, Abby. Like Abby said, I'm Susie Neal. I'm the co-owner of Unicoi Preserves. We're a local small batch preserve company located in Saucy, Nacoochee, Georgia. And we started our business. It'll be six years ago in May. We are home cooks. We're home canners. And my husband Clark and I are also competitive home chefs. So we have no formal training, but we're like you in that we enjoy good food and cooking with local ingredients. Right, right. And you just came out with a new flavor, which is my favorite. It's the cherry key lime? Well, we have two. We came out with cherry jalapeno, which is great. I know you're the spicy hot girl. Yeah. So it's a great appetizer it's awesome on the grill right, right and then we did come out with cherry key lime which is made with tart cherries full of antioxidants and over the christmas holidays i created a cheesecake dip to highlight that product oh it's so delicious and Thank um, you, Abby. you know one thing about your products uh susie this is a spread so it's a little bit different than a jam or preserve so you know, let's educate the audience about what is a spread. Right, like Abby said, um, all of our products are classified. The FDA classifies your product based on your BRICS level, which is your sugar level. So when we had our products sent out for nutritional testing, the BRICS level came back lower than what the FDA says a jam or a jelly is. So we were told that we could call ourselves a spread or a butter. And y'all know what apple butter is. We're not like apple butter. We're more of a consistency of a jam. So when we came up with our mm -hmm. recipes at home, we still call them jams and jelly. Right, And right. You'll, you'll find me saying that from time to time. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a regulation type thing. Right, but right. But we are low in sugar, which is the whole gist of that. Right. Well, you happen to be uh, an Engel celebrity chef. How did that happen? Well, we, um, like you, worked with Ingalls at different home and garden show mm -hmm. up in Greenville, South Carolina, and we started sampling our products there, and then we also um, would prepare a dish in the demo kitchen and got to talking with Ingalls about, we love to create recipes. Right, right. So we've been working with the Ingalls Table Program about two years now. And we do more with our products than just jams and jellies would traditionally do. My husband uses them on the grill, on the big right, green egg right. as a glaze. Mm -hmm. And not all of our recipes on the Ingles table have our products. Like we just released our Cubano sandwich recipe. Right, I saw that. And you know yes. what? This is the magazine. Yes. We put this magazine out. This magazine you can find in the deli at your local Ingalls, and Susie's uh, featured, uh, I think you had a uh, the monkey bread, yes, right? Yes, I did a fruitcake monkey bread, and then Clark did an espresso rub prime rib, which was just perfect Delicious. for the holidays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we also did a family favorite recipe, Melissa's chocolate shoes. Right. So now, all of these is. recipes that we're talking about, if you visit ingles-markets.com, yeah. there are so many delicious recipes in the magazine and on the website. So be sure to check it out. The website is continually adding new content. Right, so today, being that it's Valentine's, we wanna get everybody in the mood. So what are we doing, Susie? So we are preparing sweetheart tarts. So these are a fun play on a cookie, but they're a filled cookie. So using all these quality products from Ingles, we're using their pie crust. You get two rolled up pie crusts. It's in the refrigerated case. Confectioner's sugar, egg whites, 
sprinkles because what mm -hmm. says happiness like sprinkles? Right, and the kids, this is a great fun activity for kids as well. So if you've got some kids and want to have a fun activity, I think this recipe would lend itself to that. You're exactly right. So it's really simple. You simply take out the pie crust, roll it out, and you pick out the heart is what we're using this time. But if you're wanting to do a flower or whatever mm -hmm. your favorite shape is, Roll out your dough and simply cut out your cutouts. It's so easy. So I'm using strawberry vanilla, which is my husband Clark's recipe. Clark loves strawberries. Yes. So he so, created you know, this and from Clark, his strawberries. Clark loves cooking just like you. Uh, oh gosh, yes. what, what, what do you think is your inspiration for cooking? I mean, what really inspires you the most? We love fresh seasonal ingredients mm -hmm. and we like to watch food trends because you'll see every year uh, starting in December different experts start releasing mm -hmm. well this is going to be the it thing like I think last year was the year of cauliflower wasn't it? Yeah I mean <laughs> really it's all about you know field of fork I think because I think you're people right. are really looking and and looking for healthier ways to eat and and creative ways uh, easier ways easy recipes that's what the Ingalls table is all about is easy recipes it and, is, and because that's, you've worked a full day you're busy 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 you've got to take the kids here you got to take the kids there right you've got to be at this meeting in the morning and you don't have a whole lot of time I saw so, this little meme on uh, Facebook the other day that said if I knew that I would have to figure out what to cook for dinner for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So that's where the Ingalls table comes in. If you yeah. visit the website at Ingalls Markets, Ingalls-Markets.com, lots of great creative yeah. recipes. We've got so many talented chefs from so many walks of life and you know everybody brings something different to the table and that's why it's such a great resource so um, yeah it's, it's, it's great we we've been to many shows together Susie and it's it's yes. great to uh, really venture out there and see what is uh, the new trend. I go to the Mart every year the Atlanta Mart just to educate myself on on new things and yes. uh, this year they've got a fennel shortbread cookie like they're putting herbs into cookies and I thought that was amazing and I know to you, use herbs because yes. I'm a big I, I grow lots of herbs and I love to to really create different things but I never thought a cookie I mean they had a rosemary cookie a fennel um, cookie uh, it's like a little shortbread cookie but anyway uh, those thank look amazing thank you and I know mm -hmm. you enjoy to travel just like mm -hmm. Mark and I and this past summer I competed out in Kansas at the National Festival of Breads I saw that yeah I, yeah, I created a peanut butter pretzel roll and when I was in Kansas I had never been in that part of the country but I met people from all across the United States and I also learned about different Kansas specialty foods. Just like we have Georgia Grown, they have a, a state marketing for their ag products. Right, right. And they hosted us with a dinner where it had all Kansas grown foods. Mm -hmm. So it was a very interesting thing to see yeah. and learn about different things. Yeah, every everywhere you visit, you know, you're gonna yes. you know pick up information which is always re, you know good good for cooking and, and really experiencing. Like yes. right now I'm thinking about making those herb shortcake cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so these are ready to go into the oven, Abby. So I'm right. going to just put these in here. There Thank go. you. And so I knew that we would be short for time, so I baked some ahead and I'm going to show you how to make the glaze. We use the Laura Lynn Confectioner's sugar, just a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice, some milk, and all you do is simply just whip that together. So, Abby, this is so easy. I mm -hmm. think this is where if you have little ones helping you in the kitchen. Oh, this they can get their hands into this. Oh, you yeah. know they could. Uh, you know they could. Uh -huh. So this glaze is going to be thick because you want it, if you look at the ones that we've already done ahead, you see how it sets up as a nice shiny glaze? Mm -hmm. And I did this on purpose, y'all. You know, when you're baking at home, everything is not perfect. And that's okay because you're still making a home-baked treat. We have one little broken heart here and mm -hmm. there's one on the tray because once you put the glaze on you don't even know that there was a little broken heart yeah. so I'm gonna do one of these you just simply dip them in put them well on. this is for the not so lucky person <laughs> with a broken heart 
because you know maybe there won't be anyone out there with a broken heart this year well you know it's, it's valentine's day so anything yeah. is possible so we just do that just dip it in the glaze and then we've got these fun sprinkles from Ingalls, the laura lynn and you just simply give them a little touch and there you have it there is your Great. sweet heart tarts those look amazing and i really appreciate you coming on the show today is there any way uh you can tell the audience how to find your products uh, your website and yes most definitely abby so if you're looking for unicoi preserves when you visit ingles when you're picking up everything to make your sweetheart tarts like abby at ingles mm. we're in the deli we're not with the jelly so we are a deli item so pop into Ingles, buy where all those beautiful specialty cheeses are from around the world, and you'll see Unicoi Preserves. You'll see Abby J's Gourmet line there as well. That's right. You can That's pick right. up the Ingles Table magazine. Uh -huh. And I wanted to mention that you can also print out this recipe off the Ingles website. So I went ahead and did that so you could see what that looks like. Well, hey, thank you for coming on the show today, oh. Susie. And as an entrepreneur, uh, you're doing a great job. I love the last two products. And thank you. Uh, I appreciate you coming on the show. And best of luck to you. And you as well, Abby. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. At Ingalls, we know the ever-present struggle of what am I going to make for dinner this week? That's why we started the Ingalls Table. It's a website that brings the best chefs and food experts right into your kitchen. You can sort through hundreds of recipes for every occasion, watch how-to videos, and print shopping lists to take to the store. It's all waiting for you at IngallsTable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings. Leave your old TV service behind and experience the future of entertainment with Kinetic TV, the next generation entertainment designed with you in mind. With just a few clicks on the new Kinetic TV guide, you can record one show or a series, plus the power to replay and instantly watch the past 72 hours of previously aired programming. Access your recordings on the go with Cloud DVR. Kinetic TV, the next generation in entertainment. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and I'm with the co-owner of All About Monroe, and it's Valentine's Month. Lisa, welcome to the show. Thank you, Abby. So you have so much going on at All About Monroe, and I want to tell you something. Habersham is so lucky to have this business. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, why don't you tell the audience why this business, how this business got started, you and your mother, it's a mother-daughter business. You're my entrepreneur on the show today, and I want you to tell the audience all about All About Monroe because a lot of folks, they just don't know what you do there. It is incredible how many people I see on a daily basis that when I'm just out and about, they have no clue what we are. Right. They, I mean, and you, and like just people we talk to, they're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they did all that. And it's quite overwhelming when you even get asked what you do at All About Monroe. What all do y'all do? Everything I just tell them, everything but surgery, honestly, you know. Uh, and the way the business came to be, Abby, was a child's dream. I knew from the age of eight years old that I wanted to be in the beauty industry, and I thrived off of it. I just, nothing empowered me more as a child just to see a beautiful person, someone with confidence, someone that felt the way they wanted to feel despite anyone's opinion. Is that why you chose Marilyn Monroe as your Absolutely. name of your business? And Absolutely. I love that. And that's, it's because that's awesome. Think about Marilyn Monroe. She was a figure of beauty. Right. And if you really think about her, she was just she was that wild person, that wild card, but just so pretty and so she was not of her time. And she faced a lot of scrutiny and judgment, but when you look at her, she was beauty. Right. Very, very different. And, and yes. such a role model, uh, especially with your business. Yes. And so let, you, you know, I want them, I want you to really sh tell the audience what you do there because 
uh, it, it's so many services, and, and, and as I said before, we are, Habersham County is just lucky to have this business. I guess the biggest thing um, that people get wrong about All About Mineral when they come in, they, you know, you either have someone that just thinks they can't afford it or they're scared to come in the doors because it is such a nice place. We've put so much work and ethic, you know, effort into the appeal, the curb appeal, mm -hmm. the inside. I mean, just so much sweat and tears has gone into this business that people come in, they think, you know, so many things like it's just a salon. Right, right. But it's so much more, it's it's medical, it's, you know, Botox, it's fillers, it's uh, thread massage. Lift, massage. You got that aspect too, just like a spa, you know, you got the comfort, you've got the, you know, uh, the pedicures, the manicures. And with, you know, Valentine's, I think Valentine's is a perfect time. If you guys have not had the you know, a chance to get by there, even the men. I mean, yes. this is a way to go by and get a gift certificate, you yes. know, and, and that way uh, you can try it. And with all the different services, I mean, you've got uh, even laser, right? Yes, laser. So talking about the laser, in a nutshell, people don't realize that we do so much. We have this one laser called the Aerolace laser. Does almost anything from, you know, you can do the hair removal, you can do skin rejuvenation, which is the skin tightening aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Ingrown hairs, fabulous women for all the parts. I mean, all the parts. You can treat acne, you can treat the rosacea. A lot of women, older women, young women, they, that you, you face the rosacea. You have the vessels, which they call spider veins, that you can treat it on the nose, the face, the legs. And then you get down here, skin tightening, butt lifts. Mm -hmm. I mean, spider veins, the hair removal. And then right here, here's a big one I want to go into. <clears throat> one of the reasons that we took the time to add in a nail salon area is because we wanted to bring in the medical aspect of feet care, toenails. Because a lot of times you'll see people get funguses just by going anywhere. Right. And we take mm -hmm. pride in the cleanliness of mm -hmm. our, you know, right. area. It's very, very, I mean, Clean. I, I mean, you just feel like you're in a spa in Atlanta. And this is the beauty of it. Yeah. You're, we're in Habersham again. Yes. I can't stress that enough because you, you've got a professional hairstylist. Yes. You've got professional skin care professional massage therapist and i'm not and, gonna and like laser, you know i mean um yeah it's incredible all these different services i'm i'm very impressed by it and like i'm by no means like boasting about my quality and what i bring to the table but we open this business because we have the skills in which to do so not just an owner of a business of this, these crafts you have an individual my mother and i that possess the skill level that was needed for habersham the education levels, the know-hows, the been there, done that, the trial and errors have all been worked out before we ever opened this place, which there's still going to be trial and errors. Yeah, right. But I mean, mm. you've got my beauty, you know, um, I've been doing this for over 19 years, over 19 years yes. this industry. I know it. And you know, that's what you want when you come to a place like this. You want someone that knows what they're doing. Just like with your cooking, you can stay without a shadow of a doubt. You know what you're doing. Well, and that's with what you'll your need. you know, and again, as an entrepreneur, yeah. it comes with passion. Yes. And you can tell by you just describing your services, yeah. you have passion and that's 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 ninety percent of it. And I think we can both relate to this. And like one thing like with this then I'll put it down, the age spots are huge. But the thing I was getting to with the nails as we got off track with that, nail fungus. This thing kills the nail fungus. You're not having to put mm -hmm. all those medicines into your body that's going to kill the liver, hurt you. This is an outside of your mm. body, kills it, get rid, rids of it. Mm. Maybe two treatments done. So that's in it, itself awesome. Um, well, thank you for sharing that because and, yeah. uh, I didn't I didn't know you did that. I mean, a lot of people e don't. even even the some of the things you described right then I didn't know. They so don't. Uh, you can really help a lot of people in Habersham. Yes. Yeah. And make that. it and make it you know customized to what their needs are. Right. Right. Not just try to sell them stuff. It's not about that. It's about bringing in an individual that wants the quality, mm -hmm. not the quantity. So that's what we're really about. Just loving the people, giving them what they want. Anytime I consult with people, I'm like, what is it that you want? And who doesn't want to look younger? Yeah. I mean, she does the pills, the yes. face pills. Oh, um, huge. We just brought in the perfect yeah. pill. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It is so. taking a melasma away, age spots away, wrinkles. It's amazing. And then the fillers. You do oh, Juvederm. We only right. use the best. And we did get Versa in for like those that can't afford the Juvederm. It's really great though. Really great product. So we're looking out for everyone. Yeah. So 
What's your inspiration behind all of this? Just uh, being in the industry so long and just knowing this is a fit. Just like cooking, like you said, cooking is a great fit for me. And I, it's not like work. So when you're there, I can tell you're in your zone because you want to help people. I guess it, it kind of gives me cold chills when you ask that because it all goes back to when I was a little girl. And my father always instilled in us children, don't do a job that makes you feel like you're working. Do it because you feel like you're loved. Whether it's being a garbage truck driver, he says, I want you children to mm -hmm. always do something that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. So that's what I do what I do. I love making people beautiful. Well, I'm I'm just really thrilled that you're you're you've got this spa yeah. in, in, in our county. And uh, as far as gift certificates and things for Valentine's, how can they find you? Where are you located? And uh, where can they find more of your services? Okay, so in a nutshell, you know, the easiest way to find us, if you forget this, is just go to our website. It's www.allaboutmonroellc.com. It's got all the info. But we're located on Old 441 in Habersham, just right above Piedmont College. Everyone knows where that is. It's the big M. You can't miss it. It's 1507 Central Avenue, Denver, Georgia. So just look us up, you'll be able to find us. And there's a lot of services for men too. Oh my so. gosh, so many. And we were gonna bring that up too. Men don't even realize that we have just few and we want to hone in on this. Men love Botox. We have very few men clients, mm -hmm. I guess, cause it's not a big thing. But it's or maybe so good. they feel like they can't go into a spa that is full of women. But it's very common. You, you make them feel comfortable. I, you know, I, that's one thing I can say about your business. You make everyone feel welcome. Yes. And that's the genuine uh, way to do business is to make people feel welcome, and and anybody can can walk in there and and feel okay about being there and that's what i love about your business love them as if they're your own when they walk through those doors make the impression so they feel like family i think that's our biggest thing that we always do for people we always bring them in as if they're family that's why we always have someone to greet them and you know that costs a business money to have that but it's just so important to have that first moment with that client that comes to those doors to make them say oh my gosh well Monroe's you want your clients to be yours truly Family, like they yes. want to be there. They're and not made to be there. Yours truly. Yes, they yours will truly. be back. And and you guys, you need to go by and get your loved one a yours truly package yes. from All About Monroe. And I just want to thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you for being on the show. I'm glad uh, you Lisa. had me. And I know you're going to have a great Valentine's and uh, best of luck to you. Well, thank you, Abby. You're welcome. And we'll be right back. Leave your old TV service behind and experience the future of entertainment with Kinetic TV, the next generation entertainment designed with you in mind. With just a few clicks on the new Kinetic TV guide, you can record one show or a series, plus the power to replay and instantly watch the past 72 hours of previously aired programming. Access your recordings on the go with Cloud DVR. Kinetic TV, the next generation in entertainment. Welcome back to Field of Four, and Valentine's Day would not be right without chocolate. So today I'm going to make my Oreo brownie in a jar. And this is all you have to do. Uh, you place an Oreo in the bottom. You wanna put about an eighth of a cup on top. And then you keep repeating this until you fill it right below, and this can be messy, but you want to fill it not too full. It's got to be right below the lid. And what, what I've done, I've gone ahead and made some of these. And the way I top my Oreo brownies off in this little ball jar, I have found some cherries from, this is from the distillery up in uh, Dillard, Georgia. This is uh, Fire on the Mountain uh, cherries. And they're uh, distilled in... Uh, moonshine. So what you want to do is take some whipped cream and just put a dollop on top and then we will top it off with these cherries and they're, they're cinnamon and that makes a perfect perfect dessert for Valentine's Day and I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day have a great February and thank you for watching the show today and we'll 
See you next time. Thanks so much for joining us for today's program. We look forward to having you back next time on Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. This program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table and is a video production of Kinetic TV.